If you were to ask what was the biggest controversy in the Roblox community was, many would agree it was the situation evolving around Coral. The situation in hand was extremely serious resulting in someone almost taking their own life, and countless YouTubers from the Roblox community and outside the Roblox community condemning the irresponsible and downright disgusting actions of Coral. But how did this situation over two years ago come into play? Well join me in this video as we go over the full history of Coral, from his rise to influence and fame along with the polls, and his bitter fall into infamy and controversy. <laughs> This story starts at humble beginnings when at the age of 12, Coral became good friends with Dennis, and along with Dennis they moved in with another prominent member of the pals called Alex, until they moved away from one another, Alex moving to England, and Coral moved leaving Dennis alone. At this time it was speculated that Coral developed mental issues however this was never proven to be true. Regarding the pals he was close friends with fellow members such as Alex, Sub and Sketch, the pals channel ran by sub at the time was created on january the 24th 2012 where sub proceeded to post minecraft videos with sketch in 2014 and as of 2016 sub rebranded the channel and came up with the ingenious idea of collaborating with his fellow youtuber friends such as dennis daly alex and coral and sketch therefore the concept of the pals was created however the channel was not rebranded as the pals until 2017 the channel first started making Minecraft and Five Nights at Freddy's videos with Coral being a reoccurring figure in these videos, and acting as a major contribution. Hey, I'm Dennis and these are my best friends, Coral and Sub. We live in a quiet house in a small town, but little do we know, our whole lives are about to change. What's about to happen? Well let's find out. The same day the first Pals video was created on the 12th of March Coral decided to create his own YouTube channel with his plan being, so viewers of the pals could familiarize themselves with Coral due to his enjoyable and friendly character at the time, and so he could develop better relations with his fans, while doing content of his own, that he enjoyed making, and thus the Coral YouTube channel was created in March the 12th 2016. For the years to come the pals would see a huge gain in subscribers and views, and the content ranged from mainly Minecraft videos then to a mixture of Roblox and Minecraft and Coral decided to replicate this onto his own channel. So in turn, when the pals received more publicity, viewers from the pals channel would also watch Coral allowing him to benefit massively off this, and as of 2017 many of his videos would soon be his most popular videos ever uploaded, and in 2018 he hit 1 million subscribers in January, and then 1.3 million subscribers in October, and peaking in monthly subscribers along with the pals, it would seem that nothing would go wrong for Coral. In 2019, YouTube was exposed for allowing the sexual exploitation of minors in this case, being minors performing gymnastics, and disgusting online predators using this for their own disgusting sexual motives and pleasure. This news became widespread with YouTubers such as Keemstar reporting on this, and huge companies such as Disney and Fortnite withdrawing advertisements from YouTube endangering many YouTubers. This was soon labeled the second apocalypse. Coral took to his official Twitter to state that certain YouTubers cared more for ad revenue and money from YouTube rather than saving and helping children from disgusting predators who were on the site which is a very bold and unsubstantiated tweet and it was heavily criticized in the community predominantly by YouTubers such as JNG who stated some YouTubers need the income and money to support their families. And Coral replied stating that most YouTubers never got a higher education which brought him even more backlash with even Flamingo commenting r slash I'm very smart. A user by the name of Tiff Stuff replied stating, just because someone has a reply that you don't like that means they don't have an education. You don't need an education to have an opinion. Coral decided to reply stating that what he actually meant was that most YouTubers he has been in conversation with cannot even read at all, and that mean of the smartest people he has met never went to university. After this Tiffany stated that she left the pals fandom because of the shade and now Coral is making unneeded drama over YouTube ads. However the drama only got bigger, as Coral claimed 
that she should have left the pals fandom because she was 17 and that the pals community is more accustomed to 6 to 12 year olds which isn't the case considering coral should value and treat his fans the same and it's pretty irresponsible generalizing an age group and basically claiming that they can't be part of a certain fandom because they are too old Anyway Tiffany replied stating she spent $100 out her own money to have the pals on her school jersey and that she is shaking her head and Coral replied with his most infamous tweet simply stating cringe. This situation completely exploded with popular Minecraft YouTubers showing their distaste towards Coral and tons of popular Roblox YouTubers urging Coral to apologize for his disgusting tweet, and him in turn receiving backlash after Coral basically mocked the fact that he was being cancelled and blocking people who talked out against him. However unfortunately Coral's fans decided to attack Tiffany after the Twitter argument and thread resulting in Tiffany saying she is considering suicide because she felt like she ruined Coral's career and ruined everything when in reality it was not her fault whatsoever. It was in fact Coral who started the situation and drama and I feel so sorry towards Tiffany as one of her idols proceeded to insult her and she felt responsible for Coral's wrongdoings. In reality no one should go through what Tiffany went though and regarding the fact this situation was two years ago now, I hope she is feeling much better and understands that she wasn't the one who ruined Coral's career. In reality it was Coral himself. Dennis Daly made a tweet stating how Coral would be removed entirely from the pals and explained that he would be making a video regarding the situation and Coral fired back with a final response to the situation claiming that no one from the pals messaged him regarding the situation and that the pals aren't even friends anymore claiming it is a business and ending off his abysmal thread making a joke tweet with his last line saying cringe. Literally mocking Tiffany in the situation who was directly affected in the situation by Coral and his fans. Dennis then proceeded to make the response video to his tweets basically debunking all his slanderous claims made against the pals and explaining the pals reasoning for kicking Coral. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about what happened recently on Twitter regarding some statements that Coral made. Um, we wanted to make this video to lay out the truth of the situation as clearly as we can. So with that being said, um, it's true, going forwards, Coral will no longer be a part of the pals. He started saying things like, the pals aren't actual real friends, we only talk to one another whenever we record videos, which is absolutely not true. He started saying things like, we never messaged him after what happened, and that's Again, absolutely not true. We messaged him immediately. Popular Roblox YouTuber named Kaneko Kitten made a very well respected videos regarding this situation and urged Coral to actually apologize for his actions. But Coral gave no reply and for several months, people eventually forgot about Coral. And his YouTube channel became inactive along with his Twitter with no new videos in sight and instead just receiving dislikes and decreasing subscribers and the pals ultimately quitting YouTube and the past videos and experiences of the channel being distant memories. However 5 months later, Coral returned with Twitter posts of him holding and posing guns. It was speculated that these were fake guns as Kaneko made a joke tweet however John Roblox stated that this was indeed a real gun and Kaneko made a video covering the entire situation. Highlighting the fact that, since no context was provided with these tweets, they are pretty sinister and could have some serious and dark connotations to them. Either for the well-being of other or even himself, sub who was a former pals member was questioning the reasoning of the tweet and stated that Coral blocked him meaning that Coral distanced himself from all the pals members. Coral then proceeded to delete the posts and since July 2019, he logged onto Roblox in August 2019 and was never seen again. This genuinely makes me question his well-being or where he is now and if he will ever return to YouTube despite being looked down upon every YouTuber. It's honestly cray how someone can go from being a huge and well-respected YouTuber to ruining your entire career and social status in literally one Twitter thread. Honestly I don't believe Coral will ever return to YouTube and he will remain a distant remnant of the pals. If you did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe. If you are new it would really help this channel out. And credit to all the YouTubers videos which were in this video. Links will be in the description. Goodbye.